Well, I don't think camels are a natural species for South Gloucestershire, but here at the South Gloucestershire Show, that's exactly what we've got here. We've got four magnificent animals, and uh, with me I've got somebody who will tell us all about them. What's your name? My name is Daisy Fawcett, um, and my parents own the camels, so I suppose I own the camels. <laughs> um, yeah, and we're here today to do some racing. Uh, so it should be really, really fun. So I'll introduce the camels to you guys. Yeah, please So do. here we have Kokoso. He is a 15-year-old male dromedary camel. And he's very cool. He's very chilled out, you know. He's like, he doesn't mind anything. He's bomb-proof. He's walked through, you know, the middle of London traffic and hasn't blinked an eye. He's truly amazing. So the brown one is Ruby. Just behind um, him, yeah? Yeah, just behind him. Now, Ruby's actually a really special camel. Uh, she's the first camel in the world to have done motion capture. Motion capture? What the hell's that? Um, so the movie, I don't know whether you've seen it, John Carter Goes to Mars. Oh, yeah. So the basically the Mars creature's movements are Ruby's movements. Um, what they did, they came and they put a suit on her and it went all over her. She looked like a ninja camel and put uh, little bubbles on her and they went into a school and uh, we had a jockey on top and, you know, he trotted her and schooled her a bit and they tracked the movements and made the Mars creature. And uh, she's actually recently done it for a video game, a Canadian video game, and they came all the way over here to, because we're the best and Fantastic. for her to do it. So, so excuse my ignorance, and everyone no, should always fine. assume that I am ignorant today on all these reports. So, so, so where do these all come from? So, uh, dromedary, you said, is, that's one with a single hump, yeah, is that right? Yeah. One, so they come mainly the Middle East. Uh, these two in particular came from Spain. So, as you can see, like they've got a thinner coat than the Bactrians have and uh, they're more commonly used for racing so they're like they're leaner um, whereas the Bactrians the double hunt ones come from colder environments so the Gobi Desert Mongolia Bulgaria where it's much colder it's rockier as well they're more commonly used for trekking um, and you can see like these two have a very thick coat and they're white as well because their father was from Russia and they do racing on the snow in Russia Oh, right, on the, in the, Rus on the Russian steppes. Yeah. Wow, that's fantastic. Well, we're not rush racing on the Russian steppes here, but we are racing in the main arena sh um, shortly. I think there are six races over the course of the two days. Is that right? There are, yep. And, 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 and is anyone faster than the other? Can you give us some tips? Oh, well, I don't know about that. Um, I will tell you, Cocoso is not the fastest camel <laughs> you will meet, um, but really the real race is between Bertie yeah. The white one standing up and Ruby. Okay. Those two are head to head. So I was going to say straight from the horse's mouth, but that's not quite right, <laughs> is it, on this occasion? So, uh, well, thanks so much for showing us around. That's and of course, right. uh, it, meanwhile, uh, if it's not racing, you can come along and, uh, and see the, the, the camels here in you the. Can in chat the, to us if you want. And to. chat, yeah, in, in, the, in the paddock. We weren't sure we were discussing before whether it's a paddock or a stable for a, for a camel. Whatever, uh, it, whatever it is, they're being well looked after, aren't they? <laughs> I hope so. Yeah, Better but, looked after than I am. Fantastic. Thanks very much indeed for telling us all about it.